Hello, and welcome to Great Hang, the greatest hang that's ever hanged. I'm your hang, Tim McLaughlin, coming to you with your other hang, Micah Fox. Hello, Micah. Yo, Tim. How's it doing? It's doing good. How's it doing for you? I'm great. I feel very relaxed. I don't feel rushed at all. Micah has a big day. I feel very good. I have a very long day ahead of me. And Tommy was 15 minutes late, Tommy, and Michael Tim- is yelling at me about it. And well, I said, Micah, the man lives how he wants to live. Uh, so please welcome our uh, late guest, Tommy McNamara. Look, yeah. Legs I, out uh, for days. Legs out for days. I'm hungover for the first time in 2024. Oh, <laughs> you, you, got, you got drunk for the first time after sober? After dry January. Dry January. And I decided to go full zero to 60 on it yesterday. So. <laughs> you drank 60 beers? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. So wait, you made it in a few extra days i did yeah because i knew i was meeting up with uh some chicago grade school high school friends on saturday and i was like I, that'll probably be a big day i should just save up for that one how was it how was your trip back out of sobriety <laughs> I, I just i played all the hits you know i i got you McDonald's. took your shirt off <laughs> i didn't do that i got mcdonald's yeah. and popeyes did you the way home. <laughs> did you did you crash a wedding and take the microphone from the hose? Oh well, man, is a kid. <laughs> I saw the McDonald's bag next to my bed, and I go, "Oh no!" And then I saw a Popeyes bag, and I went, "Oh no!" Wait, you <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And I looked at my receipts. I got chicken nuggets from McDonald's, <laughs> and, you <got> <laughs> and you got a burger from Popeyes. <laughs> no, I got the new wings from Popeyes. Oh, the new wings are not bad. Yeah. Do you remember having them? So my memory of it is, I kept getting confused and thinking that the wings were the nuggets. And almost swallowing bones. <laughs> I, like, I hadn't drank in a while. <laughs> so wait, See, you went into each different yes, place. Yeah. See, Mike, it was worth Tommy being fifty. That, is, like for that the, is very funny. For this so wait, gold. I was you. That means you brought one of the bags into the other yes. restaurant. I know. I went because they're lined up on the street. On my walk home is a twenty-four hour McDonald's and a Popeyes that just changed their hours to be open till two, specifically to target me. I believe. Yeah. And, <laughs> They're like right next to each other. So yeah, I just went into McDonald's, took my <laughs> McDonald's bag into Popeye's. That is a crazy <laughs> they, move. They probably thought you were like a blacked out D- DoorDash man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those e-bikes. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Um, That's awesome. Well, so how, so where'd you go yesterday to celebrate your non sobriety? Where did, I went to a union fancy? union pool? Fun, oh fun yes. old, uh, oh yeah, where you can get laid with seventeen year olds. Allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> yes, thank you, Micah. <laughs> allegedly to the get laid. Part. I didn't know that place was still open. I thought it had been shut down. There was by like the a tweet FBI. about that, that it was like I thought it was going to close for a minute, but they have reopened. They're better than ever. Wow, that's time. incredible. Yeah. And what what did we we watched Oppenheimer last night? Oppy. Yeah. The old sloppy oppy. <laughs> it was sloppy toppy oppy over there. It was kind of boring. <laughs> you it was like it. Well, once the bomb went off, I'm like, we can turn this off. <laughs> that's the thing. A movie about bombs and they only blew up like six things. I mean, the big bomb was cool or whatever, but it's like mm-hmm. the cat. The test. Hated the yeah. Movie. But, oh yeah, because it no, spoiler, but it starts with an explosion. Yeah, yeah. and the and cat, the cat was off. just like immediately like furious <laughs> about it all. <laughs> but look at Killian's eyes, huh? Aren't they oh beautiful? my god! Yeah. I thought it was Cillian. I no, always say Killian, but it's Killian. Yeah. Yeah. It is. That's how they say it in Ireland. You stupid mm-hmm. bitch, oh, Timothy. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not today, my dude. <laughs> not to fucking day. Uh, ooh, I want to be on a big fight episode. <laughs> oh well, why don't you like every episode now? <laughs> you missed it. the big fight episode. Was two episodes ago with Cat Toledo, where we were in a big fight over ice cream. Mm. It's been solved since. Oh, good. All right. Where Tim had to apologize and humble himself. What'd you think of Florence Pugh's naked body? She's hot. She is hot. I'm not. Fl- <laughs> what are you trying to fat shame Florence Pugh? Me? No. Oh, I thought you were like, you're like, well. I'm a fan. I wanted to see if you were also a fan. No, but no. No, no. She was super hot. But she's I don't like- think she's that hot. I think she kind of looks like a sexy cabbage patch doll. <laughs> he said body, not face. I thought also- her body was fine. <laughs> Also, you're insane, and you've been blinded by the Junos. You're like, anything that doesn't hook all the way to the ground blinded is disgusting. Blinded by the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attracted to Jews, but I don't like their policies. <laughs> That's not true. Tim could care less. <laughs> That's true. I don't give a fuck. Tim could care less the whole time. Where do you stand? Israel, Palestine. Pick one now. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you know how on one hand, there's <laughs> genocide. On the other hand, there's your career. Go, go, go. <laughs> I go stand on. with Jeffrey Asmus. <laughs> <laughs> That's my shorthand. <laughs> uh, well, 
Tommy? Staunch IDF supporter Jeffrey Asmus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't fuck for him. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> damn it, that was good. Virgin I was thinking ass. of something, but I couldn't. Oh, is he a celibate man or still a virgin? I like to think he's still a virgin. That's not true, but he was a virgin until he was like twenty-seven. He or was, something. yeah. I think that's normal and cool. <laughs> when did you lose your virginity? Cool too. I was nineteen, like you're supposed to be. I was also nineteen. Did was nice. it uh, you? Was it you? <laughs> It was it was a um a an Irishman oh really uh, or a man of Irish was descent. it the Irishman from no, the movie yeah it was it was yeah. silly and Murphy and he said everyone pro- mispronounces my name he said and then he said look at my eyes did he summon you he said watch out for me hat it's got blades in it <laughs> from Pe- Peaky Blinders I never watched Peaky Blinders they got they- fucking blades in their hat and they slice people up oh their hat. right anyways I'll just be funny over here by myself I guess. You know, it's funny because I'll look for the clips for the show and I'll be looking for, you know, for me being funny, looking, looking, looking. And then off on the side, (laughs) Tim will just say something like fucking beautiful, like so funny. And no one will expect him to say anything. So nobody laughs or hears it. (laughs) He may be a ghost. I should should collect him and make a compilation of times. Tim is devastatingly funny and (laughs) nobody notices. Yeah. They don't give me my, they don't give me my fucking shine. You need your flowers. I know. But I could also make a much longer clip of times you just bomb and everyone here not <laughs> worry about that clip and, but, and i like how micah says she'll make it when i have to make my own <laughs> clip of me bombing i find the timestamps. that's the hard part <laughs> it <laughs> is the hard part it's the hard annoying part uh all right well speaking of timestamps, tommy tell these fucking viewing tramps where they can see you <laughs> it's, that, that, that would go the in there that would go in the bomb that would be in the long bomb. long bomb reel it will be you as laughed. long as Oppenheimer. <laughs> Did you laugh because it bombed or laugh because it was clever? I'd love, Tim's my friend. So I'd <laughs> laugh. <laughs> uh, I will be using my plugs to fully only promote my YouTube special, Smoldering, because it has an embarrassing amount of views that I would like to be less embarrassed. 69. <laughs> that would be fucked up. It is a great, it's a great special. Thank you, it's Tim, very please. reminiscent of uh, Stop Making Sense. That's the main inspiration. It yeah. looks awesome yeah and someone call it derivative even <laughs> <laughs> i am being sued by david Byrne. <laughs> i think it looks awesome the the comedy and content in it is incredible i think that everyone should go watch smoldering i had a friend i had someone hit me up saying that they were looking they were like what uh do comedians have other comedians produce their specials i go that's only if they're like rich you know mm-hmm. and the one person's gonna spend all he goes because i want mine to look like tommy mcnamara wow yeah. that could be a future career for you ever think about quitting comedy and going into producing uh no <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i'm organized enough to produce no, but- it was also shout out to mike probinskoy the man who and made mike it all- did an incredible job directing. Yeah. he's a uh, he's a very talented man but yeah, check out Tommy's uh, special smoldering on YouTube. Check it out. I'll yes. put a link to it in the uh, com. Er, I'll pin a link in the comments. That would be lovely. You can find it here. <laughs> Ooh, I want to do it too. <laughs> it's fun to point. Micah, you got a lot of stuff going on today, but what do you have going on in the future? It's oh, time for plugs. The future. Oh, oh what? Oh, you know what we should promote is we're gonna. Tim and I are gonna be headlining the Vale Comedy Festival oh. Memorial Day weekend well, in Vale, Colorado. What? The pod. We're the podcast is headlining the. I said Tim and I. Yeah. The, pod, the podcast. We're bringing the pod. We're bringing the pod to the. Thanks for ruining the plug, Tim. That's what means the same thing. Will you be skiing? Well, Uh, no, it's different. If we are headlining the Vale Comedy Festival, people will be like, oh, we're going to go see Tim and Micah. But the podcast is... The podcast is headlining the festival. There's also a couple other great headliners, Mary Mack. Oh, I kind of did a weird burp. Mary Mack, Tim (laughs) Harmstrom, uh, Jenny Zagrino, who was famously beaten by me for new guests. can't talk about beaten Famously beating women, too. <laughs> I famously beat her for new guest of the year. For looking for... too much like Florence Pugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for Keith and the girl. Go ahead, oh, Mark. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Memorial Day weekend, whatever day that is. Um, but, but come see us. Come see us live. It'll be really fun. If you're near Colorado or whatever, this is your fucking... Don't be like, when are you coming to Colorado? Now. Then. That's exciting. Um, and then, you know, just uh, check out M-Y-K-A-F-O-X. You know the socials. Check mm. me out. And I will be opening for Patreon subscriber Tom Takar. <laughs> Ooh, which uh, which one of the bad shows did he give you? <laughs> we are doing St. Charles in St. Louis, Missouri, the streets of St. Charles, Funny Bone. We will be hanging out at Stu's. Yes. Uh, we will be going to Nate's uh, 
Nate Burrows, friend of the show. We're going to be going to his new bar, Stu's. So if you're in St. Louis, check out Stu's. Of course, listen to Tough Questions with me and Jeff Sheen, who I called a pedophile not once, but five times last night on uh, the 24-hour Keith and the Girl thing. And they did One for every hour. year his children are old. Five. <laughs> See, we can make a Micah bomb compilation just as easily, I feel like. Yeah, but it'd still be good. Oh, I got hot gossip to spread to the viewers. Jeff Sheen yes. okay, wears well, a mask on the plane. <laughs> yes, like Micah, like Micah Fox, Jeff Sheen wears a mask on the plane like a baby. And he, and he complains about other people wearing masks, and then he does it himself. He's he the does. ultimate hypocrite. He See, really is the wait, ultimate hypocrite. He complains about it? He shames others for wearing a mask, then does it himself. Just wear a mask on the plane. Everyone's so fucking disgusting. Just, it's, everyone's <laughs> so disgusting. Why should I have your fucking illness? Because I have to ride... Uh, sector, sector planes. <laughs> I am going to start doing the that motherfucker is not real thing on a plane. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash great hang. We are almost to our final band to figure out who the greatest band of all time is. Now, a little spoiler. Tommy, Micah did not know that Ozzy Osbourne was in Black, Black Sabbath. Sabbath. You didn't know that? No, I guess I just didn't read his autobiography close enough. <laughs> <laughs> but check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash great hang. We got a lot of great uh, content there. Who else uh, is in the band thing? You know, I used to host a podcast about music back in the day. Yeah. It's, a, it's a Well, we were thinking about bringing you in, but then you were we were we were worried you were going to be mad at all of our things. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be mad at all of our things. <laughs> yeah. What do you got? Lay it on. Well, we for, on one side of the bracket, okay. the winner is Queen. I love Queen. So, I mean, it's hard to get mad at that. That is my favorite for just the winner of all time. Okay. So I, even before we knew who's going to be on it, I'm like, it's going to be Queen. Queen. Rules, yeah. Recently fun. on our newest episode that has already come out, if anyone hasn't listened to it yet, my bad. Uh, I, well, you know what? I'm not going to spoil anything. Go and listen for yourself and figure out which one you think Tommy will be mad at me for. <laughs> I also do say I think I changed my vote because I think Tommy would be mad at me. It was actually the first time we've ever picked a vote and then gone back and changed it. And we did have wow. – I, I once spent a week – thinking about my decision because I picked uh, Aretha Franklin over Taylor Swift. The queen of soul? Yeah. Over the queen of whole? <laughs> Tommy! <laughs> um, and then I, for the rest of the week, I was like – Micah, you never listen to Aretha Franklin. You listen to Taylor <laughs> Swift every day. This is some bullshit, but we stuck by it. Aretha Franklin rules. I would pick Taylor, but see, wow. it's it's tough because it's like, but when you listen to them back to back, it's kind of like a no contest because like you're like because Taylor's doing like an, 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 and then Aretha comes out. I, mean, I can't do an impression like of the that. greatest voice of all time. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah, but only one of them will be at the Super Bowl. That's, That's right. What I say. You know who's singing the national anthem? Aretha Franklin? Ariba. Reba. Reba. <laughs> Wait, really? I was I like, love... Speedy Gonzalez? <laughs> you know what's fucked up is Reba wasn't on our on the thing. They don't include any country singers. No. They're a bunch of folk. But I used no to country. love the Reba sitcom. You ever watch the Reba sitcom back in uh, the day? Yeah, once I uh, was forced to sleep in a hotel lobby. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they had that plan. Was playing all night. Yeah, sounds like a good time. Yeah. yeah. Did you well, miss? Was that because you were at the after party with R. Kelly? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We were. And after the, the show, after party with we R. were Carey. watching Reba. Oh my god! And after Reba, we were watching more Reba. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a hit, right yeah. there. Did you? Uh, all right. Tommy. Two hits, me hitting you, you hitting play on Reba. <laughs> now that's a shirt. That's a merch right there. <laughs> uh, Tommy. I'm excited for Reba. You excited to see her sing the national anthem? Yeah, I love the song. I love oh, the lady. say can you say? <laughs> yeah, I did it. Oh, man, it's like I'm there. <laughs> um, Tommy. If you're, I know you had a special just come out, so you've got to be working on some new material. This is the part where if you have a new bit, Micah and I will help you work on it. It's okay. called Spit That Bit. Spit That Bit. I've been working on a new bit about Dunkin' Donuts. I go oh, there, yeah. How long have you been working on that? Since last night? <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, I go there every fucking day. fast food eating motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> a brand new bit on Dunkin' Donuts. I've been working on this bit for 20 years. Someone's going to take says. down Dunkin' Donuts. No, Is I it love. about how one of your coworkers always gets a 
bagel twist and a large coffee. It is alarming how much you eat those bagel twists. <laughs> I like them. I've never seen anyone else have one. But and then t- Tim day. comes home and says, I haven't eaten today. And he's right. <laughs> Here's the thing. Because that's not They food. don't know. Like, those bagel twists are so not eaten that they do not ring it in right on a very regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to be like, that's not the right price. And then the manager comes up and they're like, he's right. And then I think everyone gets sad. Because they're like, this man should not know the exact exact price of a bagel twist <laughs> and, and then he goes to work and makes cents. less than those employees <laughs> <laughs> listen Ari uh, <laughs> oh so my bit is about how I went into a Starbucks and I saw people sending their drinks back and my bit is about how we don't do that at Dunkin Donuts we are so like we're like this is what I deserve this is what I get yeah. like, we're all fucked up and hung over so Even though Tim just said he recorrected it. Tim literally is he just proving me wrong. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't send back the food. I just tell him I'm not paying what it's not supposed yeah. to be. I didn't know people sent stuff back at Starbucks. I saw two people in the one trip I went. I mean, here's the thing. You're spending all that money. You have like all that special order, and then it's wrong. You're just sort of like, well, what's the fucking point? That's true. I do get it, but with Dunkin', do people special order at Dunkin' the same way? I mean, I order... What's your Dunkin' order? Usually I get an extra large hot coffee, one shot of espresso, three skim milk, three sweet milk. See, that is fucking <laughs> a pain in the ass. A beautiful order. You're That's like, <laughs> wait, three sweet and low, three yeah. what? I'm trying to wrap myself out from the inside. Uh, skim milk. Uh, <laughs> my God. Oh, what do you get? A nice herbal tea with supplements? If, first of all, I am not getting Duncan. So if that order starts. Yeah, this is my point. Dun- Don Duncan right people there. are snobs. This is my That's, point. Yeah, this is true. Because Starbucks people feel good about themselves. They're like, and they believe that they deserve it. Yeah. They, yeah, Duncan people, we go in there, we're like, this is Duncan. It's a hole in the wall normally where you're going to get your Duncan. <laughs> see, you guys are insane because I see them as the same. They're both trash. One's just more expensive. Do you think Starbucks is trash? It's also trash. Interesting. It's all, it's where like, do you go? I go to like the hipster coffee shop where they're rude as fuck to me and the coffee mm-hmm. tastes good. From Tommy, all the tweets? Micah is what we like to call in the business a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but i'll get an americano black I like an americano. or i'll get a cappuccino as is do not fuck with the milk regular they're like regular milk yes of course regular milk mm, so you're not getting the soy oat milk no i'm not trying Mocha to choca. fucking die because i have like lactose bullshit or <laughs> i'm a could, vegan or i think there could be something to the bit about how starbucks the the interior of a Starbucks also lends itself to returning something because most Dunkins in the city are just like a shotgun hallway that you walk in, you get your stuff and you leave because oh, you funny. don't, you don't want to hang around. But at Starbucks, people are always in there hanging out. Yes. Fuck, so no working on screenplays. No yeah. one's ever hanging out at Dunkin'. Yeah. They should make a Dunkin' just an escalator and then you grab your drink before you, <laughs> before you're shot out of See, that's good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think there could be something to that, though. That I like it. Yeah, that's true. Also, Starbucks ask for your name because that way they'll know when you're a Karen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Be like, yeah. Tommy, do you want to do Karen jokes in 2024? <laughs> but that's a new take on the Karen joke. Uh, is it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because then they'll be like, they'll be like, but it said Molly. It didn't say Karen. I thought I could fuck this one up. <laughs> Damn. Now imagine this. Your drink says Molly. They put Molly in it. Whoa. And now and is that you watch Mike and Molly. <laughs> yeah. And then that ends. You have to watch Bob Hart's Abishola. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, well, speaking of Jeff Asmus, he posted that he's writing for Bob Hart's Abishola <laughs> yeah. as a joke. And everyone, like a bunch of people sincerely congratulated him from his family and stuff. That's <laughs> and funny. He had to like issue a retraction. <laughs> It always makes me laugh when <laughs> people fuck up. That's that funny. Is great. Once I uh, I was doing someone's sketch where I was like getting engaged to Augie Lutz in the sketch, and so we like did like a engagement photo, and I posted it, and then all my family was like, "Oh my god, congrats!" Oh, I'm like, no. "You think I'm just getting married to someone you've never heard of?" And it, they did because I don't talk to my family, and I'm like, "You think I want your congrats?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> I think you should marry Augie, though. I mean, he we would. <laughs> Tim's in, Tim's in do it. Yeah, I'll be like, free low... pizza every Thursdays. Yes, exactly. Listen, do you like David Drake? Well, you're going to love Augie. <laughs> <laughs> there was a long time where I didn't, couldn't tell the difference between them. 
<laughs> I like these are just handsome, tall men who feel mm. who are depressed. Yes, yeah. Asthma's There's doobie, a lot of them around. Asthma's do be tricking people too much because you know how he's always posing that places unfortunately rip. Yeah. He posted that about Albany, and I was a little too drunk, and I go, take this down, you fool. And then the next day, I, he was like, I was kidding, and I wrote, I know, I am emb- embarrassed with myself. <laughs> but it was, I was like, damn, how are you going to say Al- Albany fucking sucked? Yeah, it's a tough town. You ever been there, Micah? I think I have. I think I was there for like a funeral or something, which that makes, makes sense. sense. People be dying out there. Yeah. Because they cannot wait to get away from that place. Uh, all right, Tommy, I think we fixed your bit. I think it's good for the stage. Probably get it on TV now. Uh, now it's time for a little segment called Hot Take of the Week. Oh, yeah, Hot Take, Somewhere in the City. I have um, I have a choice of two, but I'll just pick one, I guess. I won't all right, Tommy, guys. so in this segment, Micah is going to give us a situation. So I don't have to do anything, right? You don't have to do okay, anything. Okay, cool. I'm just explaining it to you. Micah is going to give us a situation. You and I are going to give our take on it immediately, and then she's going to give us more information. We'll find out if we were right or wrong. Okay, this is coming to us from Am I the Asshole uh, from Reddit. Am I the asshole for dropping off my stepkids with my in-laws and saying that they are not my problem anymore? Hmm. Well, yes. Wait. Yes. I need more context. You, well, that's well, the that's thing. The, you have to give. Hot take. You gotta know. have a hot while take. You, while you said, "Do I have to do anything?" and we're reading texts, I was explaining the segment to you. Well, you didn't say I had to listen. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tim, I, you've been so I, all day. So I do it without context, and then we'll ma- then you'll see if you. I don't think he's the asshole. You don't think he's the asshole. I don't I've... think I don't think they're his kids. I think they're step kids, and I think that he is the dad who stepped down. <laughs> <laughs> I think. That's fine. <laughs> Now, of course, I said just because they're my step nieces and nephews, I can't love them any less than my regular niece. So I think that you should find love in your heart, even though they're not blood related to you. You can still love them with all your heart, even if they're bad kids and you need to beat your kids every once in a while. You got to fucking you've got love a them. step niece. I have a step niece, a step nephew. What are you, Pornhub? <laughs> Tommy, no, they're children. Yeah, that's where he found them. <laughs> he went on Pornhub and Googled stepneys and stepnephews. Step just sounds like a category. It probably is, but I think that, uh, yes, <laughs> they are an asshole. Okay. Oh, but yes, you found them on Pornhub. Um, all right, here we go. My wife passed away just before last Thanksgiving. Ooh. All right, it- no. <laughs> <laughs> It came out of nowhere, and I am somewhat broken. To make it worse, my stepkids have decided that since I'm not their father, they don't have to obey me anymore. (laughs) They are teens, and they have never been my biggest fans. They love their dad, and I was only ever their mom's husband. However, when Dina was alive, they treated our home well and with me with respect. After she died, they became assholes. <laughs> yes, I know their mom died. It sucks. This Is guy's that what he horrible. Wrote? <laughs> yeah. Can I just say really quick, if I whoever I'm dating or married to when I pass away in a few years, will you say that you're fully broken? Don't say somewhat broken. Oh, <laughs> that really rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> I'm like kind of messed up. <laughs> somewhat broken. Get out of here. Um Okay, it's like, but that was my that was my wife and the mother of my children. I am also having a tough time dealing. A tough time, not impossible. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Their paternal grandparents are also shitting on me for not being more understanding of all they are going through. I have tried. I have offered them counseling. I have given them space. I have been there for them. I am at my wit's end. The last straw was when we were over there for supper last week. I said it was time to go so I could get the littles to bed. I guess he has like younger kids too. I hate the term littles. That's so fucking gross. I hate littles. Gross. I hate supper. I really don't like this guy's. <laughs> this guy's whole vibe. Is... Yeah, you're right. Supper. Good supper. catch. Ugh. Where are they from? Wisconsin, probably? Yeah, what are they? The three bears? <laughs> <laughs> the littles had their porridge. The littles. Had... Dear God. I said it was time to go so I could get the littles to bed. My stepkids said that they didn't want to go and that I should leave them and come back for them. It's a two hour drive. I said no. Their grandparents said I was being too hard on them and that I should let them stay. I am having a hard time with two small children, the loss of my wife, and two teen assholes without having my in-laws pile on to make my life more difficult. So I did. I packed up their stuff. Instead of coming back for them, I dropped their stuff off at their grandparents' house. Wow. Dramatic, eh? I have two kids under five to take care of. I don't really have time to baby two teens that are just making my life harder. My house is clean for the first time in weeks. My kids are sleeping through the night. My stepkids are loving their uncle, having their uncle in the same city as me. This sentence was written wrong, so I don't understand what it means. So they can finish high school with their friends. Oh. So it seems like the kids are happy, too. 
Sounds like a win, win, win. Yeah. Everyone on their dad's side is against me. Yeah, because now they got to deal with the teen so assholes. What? Yeah, so what? Who cares? Listen, I think once the bitch is dead, you're free of the children. Yeah. <laughs> then their dad should have to take them all the time because the only person blood related to them are their, are a fucking two-year-old and a five-year-old. And who gives a shit about that? Yeah, also from what this is, their dad is still alive. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. where the fuck you dad. been, bitch? Yeah. So, yeah, the dad's still alive. He has an uncle. He has paternal grandparents. They're being an asshole to the stepdad. I say, fuck you, kids. Fuck yeah, them, fuck kids. these kids. Yeah. Fuck your sadness. Fuck your grief. <laughs> fuck these bad Fuck stability. Kids. And it sounds, like, it sounds like the stepdad was the one with the money, though. So he's like, he goes on to be like, yeah, my wife left a small... Um, life insurance policy, which I split evenly between the four kids. But other than that, I was making all the money, so fuck off. Oh, yeah. I mean, people are going to try to milk all the money they can out of a person until, you know, they absolutely have to take their children back. But Well, I've got nipples, Tim. Can you milk me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he also doesn't have parental rights. It's like, it sounds like it's not even his responsibility to keep them. No, definitely not. No. Uh, all right. Well, we figured it out. That guy is kind of an asshole. But That's not the thing really. is, he is an asshole, but not <laughs> the asshole. <laughs> He's right. somewhat asshole. Tim. Yes. What are you doing? I was pulling up. He's watching the, clips of his own show. I was pulling up uh, comments on the YouTube for our next segment. Hell yeah, dude! Reviews for the podcast. This is where if you go on. Ooh, do you do the news? The news is gone this month. <laughs> Were you wanting it? I just remember last time I was on, it was a big debate over you hated the news and Tim loved the news. Well, I beat him in Trivial Pursuit on our one of our recent po- uh, Patreons. Which you can listen to at patreon.com slash great hang. And it was a close race. It was a good episode, though. I am in rare form on that one. I'm Ooh. having a lot of fun. But <laughs> I'm being funny. <laughs> I'm being funny as hell. <laughs> Very rare for me. Uh, but today, what we do is we go on Apple iTunes. We see if anybody has left any five-star reviews. Of course, they're allowed to leave whatever star reviews they want, but five stars is encouraged, mm-hmm. and no one did. But <laughs> we do go on to YouTube, and if you are watching this on YouTube right now, hit that like button. Go ahead and smash the subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications so you know when new episodes and clips come out. But check uh also if you leave a comment, we're gonna read it. So we're reading the comments on YouTube and here we go. This is from Flojo83. When is Karen coming for a hang? They both killed it on Real Ass Podcast. Great episode. Thanks. Was it Karen? That was from Flojo eighty three. Yeah. Oh, Karen. When is Karen coming on the um, for Well, a- actually, she'll be on our next episode of- um, The next live the show. The next uh, our Ask Our Advice. That'll be March 10th. Um, at the gutter at 8 p.m. At the gutter at 8 p.m. Come get tickets. Karen will be on the show and the other guests undisclosed as of this point. But so there you Tommy? go, Flojo. Tommy, you've already done it. I know. We're trying to get Joe List. And uh, it come and then it, that episode will be on the Patreon, so you can check that out. But also, Karen has been on a back episode of. Karen has Great been Hate. on an episode before. It might be on the Patreon though. So I'm she's never really been sure. on the full feed. I don't think so. Oh, okay. So you know, subscribe to that Patreon. Then what do you want from me? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, there we go, Tommy. I'm sorry, I'm not a cool enough guest. You've been on the show, you <laughs> fuck. Many uh, times. Mayor of New Jersey said if Micah's special wasn't free and was announced more than a few days in advance, New Jersey is the, in more than a few days in advance, New Jersey is the best place for her type of comedy. If I had more time to rally the troops, it would have worked. Instead, we got the family of people dressed semi-formal in the front row and some cranky lady looking, uh, looking for a night out next to me. The ladies behind me and I thought it was great. I think there should be a, a live great hang in New Jersey redemption show. So once and for all, redemption the blame can be taken show. off the good place of New Jersey and for and onto the cheapskates who are hoping to see Jeff Dunham for free on a Monday night in Garwood. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Mayor of New Jersey. That, thank you for coming. And you know what's funny about that stiff family in the front? Those were the financial backers. So cool. Uh, Thanks for sitting in the front and not laughing at the special you paid for. Good job. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you cocksuckers. They were, they were very friendly after the show, too. It was wild. I'm like, mm. you couldn't. They're like, we didn't know what to do. I'm like, I don't know. Fake it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Christina Gonzalez says... Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, how she pronounces it. That was written uh, phonetically. Uh, was phonetic. <laughs> uh, Micah rules, and so does this pod. I look forward to the hang every week. Many thanks to Tim for taking the time to read our comments. Hey, many your welcomes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh, got a bust in at one hour, nine minutes and 48 seconds. Perfect depth. That's from Robert F. I checked that timestamp. That's exactly when it ends. So oh, that's when the episode ends. Yeah. That's he, funny. he busts. He waits till the last minute. Edges himself the entire time. <laughs> then shoots right as it, right what as it. Has anyone ever busted at the very end of a porn? That can't be. I mean, the guy does on every video yeah what does it saying? just end right that, after he busts yeah yeah what do you think they do interviews afterwards and they're no, like they so, mop up and stuff they do a montage of the yeah. great <laughs> the greatest moments <laughs> <laughs> oh right, wait i'll save that one for last uh alex says uh look guys a f a i k what is that as far as i know oh as far as i know i'm the least racist person in my village hello but the mere fact that y'all Americans are eating ice cream during the winter sounds barbaric to me. How is that? Is the word barbaric racist? Like, what's the problem here? Yeah, I don't get that. I don't know. But ice cream is good. Shut the fuck up, Alex. I love you for always commenting, but ice cream is good. Also, you know how you're supposed to, like, eat soup in the summer, supposed to cool you down? Yes. And the hot things in the summer. So eating ice cream in the winter warms you up. I guess that's not true. <laughs> Kyle Park says, congrats on Spritey, Mike. A huge accomplishment. Thank you very much. It's G- something that two of us used to succeed at. <laughs> I did 32 beautiful days. That's pretty good, Tommy. <laughs> Best days of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know you still look good, even though you got hunk- you drunk last night? Your skin still looks better. I might try and do most of February. We'll really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Yeah. I mean, that's great, Tommy. I'm just like... I kind of want to wait till it's nice out to really get after it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, summer drinking is fun. Summer drinking is the best. G. Bresto says, I changed my vote. Micah is showing tough love so Tim can keep his foot about the ice cream. Oh, you have diabetes. I don't have it, but I will get it. Uh, Tim has fi- t- Tim has to finally man up a little and go weld a battle bot, says Alex. Listen. I think that's true. He doesn't. Uh, you guys don't understand how making a battle bot works. It takes tons of money. These things are freaking robots. Give goddamn! Me a, give it. me a guesstimate. How much money would a hundred thousand dollars? No. Well, surely Micah can lend you a hundred k. She yeah. could. I'm not going to loan him anything. <laughs> he still owes me money from when we moved in here two years ago. It'll be paid back tenfold once the battle bot takes off. Yes, once we win. <laughs> yeah, he'll be he'll pay me back with a folded ten. Micah, we need to. <laughs> that was good. We need to win the giant nut. All Tim right, said, going on the clip reel. Tim Ten, said, tenfold's beautiful. I, <laughs> that was a great joke. I fucking nailed it. Tim couldn't hear it because he was busy trying to say something about a giant nut. I was also <laughs> reading these. I, I'm trying to read these ahead so that I don't stumble over everything. Riff killer, riff killer Tim over <laughs> here. Que Tim said Catholic as hell at Am I the Asshole is funny as fuck. Thanks, Vasco E. Gilar. That's why I tried to keep it in the clip, but you edited it out. IH Jello says, big deal about Travis and Taylor dating lately. I only care what Micah and Tim think. Will Travis and Taylor get married? Um, I think they will, actually. Tommy, I mean, great guest to have on this. Tommy, what do you think? I also think they're going to get married. I yeah. don't think that he's going to propose... On if the he field after the, the Super Bowl, a lot of people are saying that. I don't think that, that will happen. That would be so tacky. The amount yes. I would turn on that relationship. I don't think she would want that, and I think she is the type of person who will very much plan her own getting proposed to moment. So I no, don't think that it's, that's right. it's going to be absolutely fucking private. Yes, 100%. it's going to be so. If she does anything um, but have it be private, yeah. she is the corniest for sure it'll be on an island that was built for her yeah <laughs> and it will be yeah. little saint james they you can bet on that by the way that they're gonna go to little saint james no if they will oh. if he'll propose at halftime they have that up on uh, one of the sports but of oh, course wow. i do think they are waiting until after the super bowl to make a decision yes like the that. way that many people wait for sex how long have marriage. they been dating now not very long like six months i do think three four married, months though. that's uh, good um but her personal life is none of my business i just like the music <laughs> and she's usually not this fuck she's usually not this public about who she dates so and they've all been weirdos too yeah travis kelsey could be a weirdo we don't know no he's a himbo he's a jock yeah he is a jock which is perfect because she's actually kind of stupid <laughs> like if you watch like what is it americana or whatever that that 
documentary they make about her and she's like just drinking wine Miss and talking. Americana, Miss Americana. Yeah. I'm like, ugh, please stop talking. <laughs> well, her, like, yeah. her written patter for her concerts is incredible. In the Eras tour, it's really bad. It, I would say oh, it's really? like embarrassing. Wait, <laughs> really? I haven't seen it. She does this thing where she's like, I'm just like a lonely millennial woman with my cats. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. You're, she's like, Tommy, she says are... to the millions of people watching her, she's <laughs> yes. lonely. And That's Tommy, you are what could be considered one of her biggest fans. I am. And I think that she's so dorky. And she does she's this, so like, She's so dorky and yeah. dumb. And she's like dumb. boring. To, like when she's in conversation with like Jack Antonoff and our other friends, yeah. they're all like being really interesting. And then she's like, eh. I'm like, <laughs> you are a dork. And yeah, she does a, a big aw shucks thing. Like, I can't believe this is for me. And it's like, well, this is the last sold out stadium you did like 50 sold out football stadiums this yeah. is the la- you can't be that surprised that people are cheering for you at yeah. this point we have one final comment oh okay yeah, from yeah. our headliner of the comments the section. guest is tommy uncle jemima <laughs> okay <laughs> i have been leaving my comments recently but maybe they were too graphic and youtube deleted them <laughs> wish we could see those all right uj but that's good we were so worried about you uncle jemima we were worried we were worried he busts on every episode he leaves comments that, about how he busted and it's very graphic and funny hell? and it is maybe funnier than any comedy i've seen lately so he's been leaving his comments saying maybe too graphic for you too but My then they have then them? they've been gone for and i i've been very nervous that maybe he busted too hard and died yeah he blew his own brains out busting <laughs> but he says he says just know this I be busted. <laughs> you can sleep at night. Yeah, the streets are safe. So that's good. We've got uh, we're we've got a hard out at one. We've got eight minutes left. Ooh, a uh, hard eight. Tommy, we could take it to one ten. Well, let's see. What do we got? We got well. We've got fall in love with Micah. Fun party story. Uh, speak ill of the dead. Let's get rid of fall in love with Micah. What's right. fall in love with Micah? I want to do that. All right. Let's. All right. So fall in love with Micah. <laughs> all right. We'll do fall in love with Micah and speak ill of the dead, and then we'll sign off. Um, Arthur Aronson came up with a list of thirty six questions where if you ask them consecutively, oh, yeah. you've heard of this, right? You'll fall in love with. We're the date. deep in Tommy. This is very emotional. So now. they get. They get more like in so what depth number are we at? as they go. We're on number 28 out oh, of 36. So we're in the third wow. bracket. These are intense. This one actually reminds me a lot of the one we did over Christmas, Tim. Okay. But like, so sure what the difference is, but it says, tell your partner what you like about them. Be very honest this time, saying things that you might not say to someone you've just met. So you guys have to tell me things you like about me and you have to be honest and say things you wouldn't say if you just met so we're just only talking to you okay Micah you can say it about Tim too well Tommy and of Tom, course, you can say things about Tommy him. is my mentor of course yes that's true you wouldn't say that if you just met I guess <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, alright Micah one thing I have to say one thing uh, how many things do I have to say tell your partner what you like about them it doesn't say any oh, number okay Micah, you know what I like? I like that you can get all very upset like you were earlier today and like you have been at me, but it goes away quickly and we can go back to having a nice time. Uh, and He likes how moody I, like I your am. your mood swings. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they're not. When she gets very, it's they're not the mood swings aren't like a normal crazy woman's mood swings. A normal <laughs> crazy woman, <laughs> ladies, he's taken. You know how bitches be tripping and trifling all the time. <laughs> Micah does that, but in the least trifling ass way possible. <laughs> it's true. I will get mad, but then I also like I flex back to normal. I don't hold a hold a grudge or anything. That's so is that like what you mean that, to me. Micah, I like that, Micah. I think that's a thing that I can say about someone that I know very well. Mm. Aw, thanks, Tim. My turn, Micah. I love you more than Tim ever could. <laughs> 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 Mr. Steel, your girl is on the show. No, I'm always excited to see you at a party, though, and you make me laugh very hard, especially when you are being mean about someone I also know. <laughs> <It's> my, <laughs> you're very Aww. funny, and it always make me laugh at a party. Damn, these were good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, Tim, do me. Tommy, I like that. You know what I like about Tommy is that when we're at work, 
Tommy and I get upset about the same thing. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And because Tommy's been there longer, I feel more vindicated in the thing <laughs> I'm upset about. And so when Tommy gets upset about it, I'm like, I wasn't crazy. Thank you. I will stand in front of you and complain loudly. <laughs> I will shield you. As also, I, it's as fun I to work. With, also, Tommy is in normally in a very good mood at work, and it's fun to work with him. Thank you, Tim. I love having you at the office. Which is why I'm sad to fire you on air right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want the episode to get a lot of clicks. <laughs> Put oh, your we'll face on the, th- you're getting fired face as the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did post two so that way you could clip it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tom, uh, Micah, now say stuff about us, bitch. <laughs> Tim, I love how even though everyone thinks you're an Albanian. Thank you. Yeah, and that that. you're very dumb. You are actually very smart and thoughtful. Oh. And that you shield your intelligence from people to make them feel more comfortable and like and make you more likable. And it is a hum it is something that a humble person does and not a blowhard. And you are truly like humble and great. It could, you know. And sometimes you are dumb, and that's cute too. <laughs> <laughs> it could it could add to the reason why I take so many freaking L's all the time. Mm-hmm. All right, Tommy, tell me something good. Tell, tell, tell me something, something good. good. Bow, now, now. Oh, Tim! Ever since Tom left, you're the only guy I like in the city. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Patreon uh, subscriber Tom Takar, come back, <laughs> come back and be our friend. Um, Tim, one of my closest friends. I'm very happy to have that to see you all the time. You always bring a smile to my sad, sad face. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, that's. I try to be in a good mood at work so that everyone who comes in, because it sucks going to Herald Square. Yes, it does, and it yeah. wears you down. So I try to come in, be in a good mood, <laughs> yeah. while Ari's screaming at everyone. <laughs> yeah, Bob, I almost walked out of the office the other day because Ari was going off, and I can't <laughs> take the volume of his voice sometimes. I love it. All right, wait, no, Tommy didn't get one from me. I know, and I will cry oh, if you're I don't. To <laughs> Tommy. I knew one was wrong. I was just trying to end the episode as quick as possible. Uh, Tommy, you are a delight. Even though I was pissed at you for being late, <laughs> which was half your fault, half Tim's fault. Yeah, mostly mine. You came in immediately, turned. I was in a bad <laughs> mood about it, too. You turned me around so fast. You're so funny. You're like the Ray Charles of the group. <laughs> yeah. Grew just, up in a shack. <laughs> just constantly like swinging like that. And all of a sudden, you're like, how could you be in a bad mood around Ray Charles? <laughs> Impossible. And if Tim ever dies, you get next. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I do want that in writing. <laughs> there's a high chance Tim's gone. Hey. I don't know. Between the two of you, <laughs> any man's game, Bobby could sneak in there. <laughs> I will tell you this. When Tommy was like, I got McDonald's and Popeye's, I was literally jealous as hell. <laughs> I was like, what a fucking king. The life of a king. <laughs> That's awesome. My man goes, I got Popeye's, McDonald's, gout. <laughs> <laughs> One of my buddies got gout. I saw him drinking a vodka soda. I was like, why aren't you having a beer? And he goes, I got gout. <laughs> do we have do we have enough time for Speak Ill of the Dead or should we save it for next week? Rosalind Carter. Just go. All right, let's do Is that speed, who you're speaking ill of? Speed yeah. round speak ill. All right, I'll do mine. Michael Rockefeller, why did you have to go to that island with all those people who had never met a white person before? You know they were gonna eat you, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> uh hey, what? guess what? I'm glad you're fucking dead from a cannibalistic tribe in some kind of island. Fuck you. I hope the devil's butt fucking you in hell. Oh my god. Rosalind Carter, former first lady, died last year. I think it's fucked up she died before Jimmy. I think <laughs> Jimmy is like 100 years old. He's so sick and so old. And the fact that he has to go out for like another year alone, I think she fumbled the bag and should have died first. That's my theory. I hope the devil's butt fucking the shit out of you, <laughs> Rosalind Carter. Yeah. <laughs> but she seems like a nice woman. <laughs> um, and then Thomas Lynn Bradford, who died in 1921, he was a spiritualist who attempted to ascertain the existence of an afterlife, so he committed suicide and then was going to talk to his other spiritualist friend once he was dead. And then, guess what? He fucking didn't. That's amazing. And he ended up in the New York Times on an article that, with the headline, Dead spiritualist, silent. 
So I fuck- hope you did find the afterlife, and I hope it's in hell where the devil's butt fucking <laughs> yeah, ghosted shit. by you dead spiritualist. Yeah. Um, and that's the show. And that's the show. Signing off. It is I, the greatest man to have ever lived. Your Patreon dad at Patreon.com/slash Great Hang, Timothy Grady McLaughlin the second. And signing off, it is I, the thirstiest girl in the world, a uh, woman who has a full day of shit that she's racing out to, but never doesn't have time for you guys, the fans, and for Tommy, my friend, for Tim, my friend and boyfriend, and for you, my friend and uh, podcast listeners, it's me, Micah Fox. Signing off, Thomas Harry McNamara, not Harold, just Harry. Wow. And we hope you guys have a great rest of the day.